And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home, holiday, event, wedding, and DIY decor. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a bridal shower centerpiece and setup. Here we go. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know that I get obsessed with things. I get obsessed with products or colors or something. I'm always obsessed with something. This week, I am obsessed with paper mache products and I found this amazing dressmaker. Oh my gosh, look at this. How amazing is this? And I'm going to turn this into a bridal shower centerpiece. Yay, <laughs> let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a sweetheart neckline or bust line uh, around the bust. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do the best I can because I am not good at drawing, but here it goes. Thank goodness it's paper. <laughs> I can erase it, nice. Okay, so this is as good as it gets. Not bad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the dress because this is obviously the wedding gown. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it white. Before I start painting, I'm going to glue the dressmaker to this bowl because right now, as you can see, it's pretty wobbly and I need it to be on a solid base. And here she is. Now she'll be able to paint with no problem. I'm going to be using white acrylic paint, a fine paint brush for the bust line, and then I'm also going to be using a foam brush for the rest of the dress. And here she is after two coats. She is looking fab. I have to say, I didn't do such a bad job with the outlining of the dress. Not bad at all, I'm proud of myself. Nice, very nice. Now I'm going to add lace to the dress. I got this piece of lace from Walmart. I got half a yard and uh, it was $2.49 for half a yard, but I'm only gonna pretty much use about a quarter of this, so it's very inexpensive, and it's also stretchy, okay? So you wanna get the stretchy kind, so it will be much easier for you to fit around the dressmaker. I'm going to measure how much material I'm going to need around her. Just give yourself a little extra, just in case. Make sure you cover her shoulders. You can either cover the whole thing, okay? 
Um, right now, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna leave it covered or if I'm gonna cut it um, to the shape of her bust. I'm not sure yet. But for now, I'm going to cover the entire thing in case. Okay? So, now I'm going to turn her around and I'm going to place glue down the middle of her back as if it was a zipper or buttons going down. And I'm not going to glue the darker part here. I'm only going to add glue to the white part because like I said earlier, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the um, lace on here yet. So I'm just going to leave it without glue for now. But if you know for sure that you do want to use uh, lace on here, go ahead and start gluing from the top. Now you're gonna wanna wrap it around tightly. Okay. And make sure that you get the shape of the waist. So just pull. And then you are going to add glue again. to leave the lace on top so I'm just going to go ahead and make this nice and neat I'm going to glue this right here and this one right over this is definitely a choice and you can leave her as is here she is I mean it's not like completely put together because I'm going to actually be more dramatic <laughs> And I'm going to add a tool mermaid cut uh, bottom. It's going to be very puffy and a little more out there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to cut this off, okay, and make it all smooth. And then I'm going to add the tool skirt to the bottom. So I want the tool train. Uh, well, it's not really going to be a long train. It's more like a puffy bottom, uh, a mermaid style puffy bottom. Um, it's going to start from right here. And I'm going to use this uh, ribbon. It's a 3 8 width. Um, you can use any ribbon. Obviously it has to be white. This one is uh, kind of clear. Uh, I'm just using what I have. And I'm going to measure where I want to start the tool skirt. And I'm gonna leave or give myself a little room so I'm able to tie it. I'm also going to glue it, but I want to be able to tie it. So this should be perfect right here. So I already went ahead and cut a few pieces of tool to make my tool bottom or my tool train or my short tool train. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so the way you're going to measure is simple. You're just going to measure from your starting point and you're going to double that. So basically, if you're going to start right here, then you are going to double that, okay? And then you're going to cut it right there. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to place it on the ribbon. All you're going to do is just grab the tool in half and then you are going to grab your ribbon, okay? 
Then you're gonna bring it over and then you're gonna place the rest of the tool inside the hole right there. And then you are going to pull Here it is again. You are going to hold the tool in half. You're gonna place it over the ribbon, bring it down, open the hole there, and pull the rest of the tool through it, and pull. I wouldn't pull it too tight, because then it, the knots will be very little, and then it will take too many pieces of tool to make it full. So I have made a total of three skirts and I'm going to be placing one at the bottom, one right here and one right here at the top of where I want it to be. All right, let's do it. Okay, so now let's uh, pull this out, comb it out, because you are getting a cut. It's so addictive to keep going, but I am satisfied with this. I am. She looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add pearls. So I'm going to be adding some of this pearl trim. I'm going to add it to the bottom or right on top of the skirt, right about there. I'm going to give her a pearl necklace and then I'm going to also place some down her back to cover some of the imperfections there and that's going to look really really pretty. I don't know guys, I'm not really liking the pearl necklace on top because of the uh, lace right on top, I don't feel like you need the extra accessory. So I wanted to show you guys different alternatives besides the pearls. Here is Diamond Wrap. And this actually looks really, really nice. I might even replace it. I don't know. I'll think about it. So here's how this looks. Very, very nice. And you can also place it around the waist as a belt. If you wanna go for your wedding color theme, you can place the color of your wedding right on her waist. I am loving this purple. Purple is in this year. And you can even add flowers. You know, look how pretty that looks. Very, very pretty. This is probably gonna be my final look. All right guys, this is it. This is my bridal shower centerpiece and I am so proud of it. I love it. I am in love with it. I wanna hug it. <laughs> and the diamond wrap totally polished the look so I'm very glad I switched it. I'm always kind of very cautious when it comes to diamond wrap because it can look pretty cheesy but this time it looks very, very tasteful. I love it. And what I like about this centerpiece is that you can totally customize it to the color or theme of your wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now. And leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my bridal shower centerpiece and if you have any requests or ideas, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, Bye.